We've just beaten South End in the second round of the FA Cup when my phone rings and it's a Spanish number. Looks like there's a decision to be made. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm G&G and in this episode of Jobless Greatness, as I said, we have a big decision to make. Villarreal have approached us, they've made us an offer here as you can see and we have to decide whether to take it or not. Let's have a look at the offer first of all. It's 50,000 a week for me. I'm currently on 2,700. That's a huge increase personally. Uh, a transfer budget of 44 million and a wage budget of 2.2 million which is massive compared to uh, Cambridge. Is it enough to compete in La Liga? That's I'm going to have to decide. Uh, if we look at Villarreal, look at their uh, reputation, we'll see is four and a half star. Their training facilities are five star. Youth facilities five star. Youth recruitment five star. 56 million in the bank balance. And uh, yeah, it's a tough, tough decision because if we just look at Cambridge for one second, as I said, we beat uh, Southend 2-1 in the FA Cup. So we're through to the third round where we play Fleetwood. We also beat Coventry 5-2 in a league game which means we're currently in second in the league table, two points off Peterborough. And yeah, everything going well at Cambridge, but this is a huge opportunity. And if we look at what they want, they want to be competitive in the Champions League in five years' time, qualify for Europa League. Yeah, it's a big, big offer. And I know uh, in the comments of the last video, there were people who wanted to take this job. There are some people who want not to take the job. Uh, one comment uh, from Gary Torpy, I was very welcome to see. He uh, pointed out the uh, minimum... Uh, release clause in players contracts in the league which made me really think about this but uh, sorry Gary I'm going to have to go against your advice I'm going to take this job because I think it's too big an opportunity to turn down a big club like Villarreal who haven't won the Liga and uh, yeah three year deal on 50,000 a week that's good enough for me we're going to exit the talks we've accepted the job offer it looks like we're going to become Villarreal manager uh, we were meant to play Crystal Palace under 21s on this day but I think we're going to Spain and there we go we're off to Spain we've made the big move we've joined Villarreal we brought a couple of backroom staff with us but uh, yeah we're off to Spain there is the team media prediction of coming forth so we have a bit of work to do to get them up the table we'll have a look at the table in a moment there we go wage budget or transfer budget of 43,000 wage budget of 2 million two and uh, we'll have a look at some other things we'll look at the team there is uh, the team at the moment uh, recommended by the chairperson I think Strangely enough, um, we don't have an assistant manager. I think that's why they are recommended for the formation. Actually, we played at Oxford City and in our first season at Cambridge. So we may go with that to start off with and see how it goes. There is the club vision again. They want to sign players under 23, which was the same as Cambridge. Work within the wage budget. Sell players for a profit. Spend the original uh, transfer budget. We'll try and do that. Uh, One-year contract for players over 33. Two-year contract for players over 31. A minimum of four-year contract for all first-team players and a maximum of three-year contracts for anyone over 29. And their five-year plan is be competitive in the Champions League, qualify for the Conference League, reach the latter stages of the Copa del Rey, work towards developing the best youth system in the world, work towards developing the youth system in the country. Uh, end of this season, they want to develop the youth system. No, sorry, next season. They want to develop the youth system, work towards best of the rest, and work towards yeah, the youth system again. They want to be recognised as the best of the rest then, yeah, our contract expires then and hopefully we'll be staying on. But I think this is the club to try and see out this challenge at. As I said before, uh, the supporter vision there actually is much the same really. They want to do well against their rivals. They want to finish above Valencia and record a top half finish. And uh, yeah, we'll do a press conference, etc, etc. But yeah, as I said with Villarreal, uh, if we look at Villarreal as the sales club info, we go to history here. You'll see no uh, La Liga titles there at all. They won the Europa League, of course, a couple of years ago beating Manchester United in a penalty shootout. They've not even won a Copa del Rey, it seems. Yeah. So, yeah, we can make a lot of history here at this club. Of course, the challenge at the start of this save was to win one of Europe's top five uh, titles with a club that hasn't won a title this century. Valencia haven't won a title at all. There's our stadium that we're going to be taking on charge of. And, yeah, it's a big, big challenge. We'll have a look quickly at the squad. And we can see lots of, some familiar names. Juan Freit, uh, the former Tottenham player. Ben Britton, Diaz, the former Blackburn player. Uh, any more recognised? Well, Philip Jorgensen is a goalkeeper I recognise. Uh, looking down, any more? No, no more uh, names standing out at the moment. But we'll have a better look at the squad. But we look at maybe the best players in the squad. First up is Gonzalo here, a Spaniard, 20 year old. 
Uh, we will look at updating pictures on that as we go on, but we've just taken the job. He looks pretty decent, to be fair. Technique of 18, 13 passing, first touch of 16, dribbling 14. Good mentals there, as you can see. Pretty good physicals too. So he's a player, could be very important for us. And now Alex uh, Buena, I'm going to say Buena, another midfielder, or, or left winger really. Good technicals there too. Again, real upgrade on the players at Cambridge, isn't it? He's 30 though, so a player we can't exactly build around, but he's going to be important for us in this first period of the season. And then second, it's Samuel Chuck Wednesday here, who is a decent right winger as well. So we've good options on the right wing, to be fair. Good mentals there, good uh, physicals, good technicals in some areas. So yeah, good players in the squad, it would seem. What I'm going to do now is we're going to play our first game here, which is at home to Alaves. We are currently sixth in the league. We'll have a look at that table a bit better. There we are. We're sixth in the league. Uh, we are just 10, 11 points off Madrid on top. So we're in a good position in the league. So yeah, let's hope we can build, push towards qualifying for the Champions League maybe this season. And then we can see our first full season next season by building maybe towards that title. But yeah, we have taken charge here off Villarreal. Let's get to the lineup for our first game at home to Alaves. So here we are ahead of our first game in charge of Villarreal. And this is the lineup we're going with. We're going with the formation we played at Oxford City and in the first season at Cambridge when we got to the playoffs. It suits this team, I think, a little bit much uh, better than the attacking 4-3-3, which we haven't just got the players for yet. We get to get Gonzalo on the right wing. Abada, who, of course, plays for Celtic in uh, real life, he's here on the left wing. Brent, Brent, uh, Brennan Diaz up front. We get a midfield with Bena uh, for, for Tezi. I'm going to have to learn these names better. And then uh, Soppy at left-back is a decent left-back. Andrich is a good player at right-back. We're a little bit short at centre-back because of a few injuries, so that's a bit of a worry. And Philip Jorgensen is in goals. So, it's our first game against Alaves. They're down towards the bottom of the table. Can we get up and running with a win? So, here we are at home for our first game in Spain. A huge gamble we have taken. This could be a massive mistake. It could go very wrong here at Villarreal, or it could go very right. Alaves down towards the bottom of La Liga. Probably a good opponent to start off. We've only had a couple of days to look at our team, get them ready. We'll see Alaves down in 16th. We are 7th. A win here could lift us back into the European spots. And uh, yeah, could we get up and running? Our first games outside of England in this save. We've gone from Cambridge to Villarreal. Will it be a success? For highlight, 30 seconds in is a throw in for us for Tazy. Back to Soppy into Abada. Cross. Oh, we're ahead. Alex Buena puts us 1-0 up and not even a minute in charge of Villarreal. We have a lead, and it's his 100th goal, I see, for Villarreal. So he's a very experienced player for this club. Well worked from this show in Soppy and for Tazy, working it well. Soppy into the box, cross into a bada. He crossed it across, and there is the finish by Alex, and we go 1-0 up. Free kick here, it is Stamich to take it down to Soppy, our left back. He brings it infield, looking for support, goes back to Stamenich. And here is Robert into Alex. Now, Gonzalo down this right-hand side, beats his man. Can he get across? And he can. It's Diaz. We're 2-0 up. We've only played two minutes. It's a dream start here in charge of Villarreal. <laughs> if it continues like this, we could be winning that title very soon, but let's not get too carried away. It's lovely work uh, play. Gonzalo takes on his man here. He beats him. Then he gets the cross into Diaz. A really good finish from him. And we are 2 0 up. Throw in here, stop it, you take it. We have suffered a bit of a blow. Alex Buena, our first goal scorer, has gone off with an injury. And Modair has come on for him. That's a bit of a worry. Here is Modair. And he plays it to Gonzalo. Gonzalo is true. Could this be a third? Gonzalo! Good save from the Alaves keeper. Keeps it at 2 0. We're playing some really good football early on here. I'm not sure how much that has to do with me because I'm only a couple of days here. Here's Abada with the corner kick in. It's headed clear to Gonzalo. On the edge of the box, can he get across in a bad? I looked offside there. I think the flag will go up. Will it? No, we play on. And it is David for them, but it stays 2 0. Free kick for Alaves. They go along with it. It's cut out by Stimanic. And now Sapi to Abada. Abada comes down this side. Can he create something? He plays a ball over the top for Brennan Diaz, but it's cut out. It'll fall back into midfield. And for Tacey, has it. He plays it into Moder. Moder back to Robert. And Robert to Andrich. Andrich brings it down this side, the right back. Can he get across in? Modair. Diaz. Oh, brilliant save from the Alavez keeper. That is a stunning save. We really cut them open there. And we could have been 4-0 up in this half. We're going to go in at 2, I think, at half time. We're in injury time now. A battle with the corner kick. It's headed clear. It'll fall to Gonzalo. I reckon that is the end of the highlight. Just waiting for the three minutes to be played, but we have another highlight in injury time here. Could Alavez strike before half time and make this game interesting? Oh, dodgy enough ball back to their keeper. And here is Coco for them. 
He plays it into midfield and Andrich cuts it out at right back. Here's Gonzalo. Gonzalo taking on his man again. Can he get across in towards Diaz? This time he can. Diaz! It's the post. Oh, that's unlucky. Diaz could have had a hat trick. We could be 5 0 up. It's been a really good first 45 minutes in charge here at Villarreal. Just need now not to make any mistakes and let Alaves come back into it before half time. Here's Soppy down this side. And uh, there is the half time whistle. So. It is a great for first 45 minutes. Just that injury to Alex Buena is a bit of a worry, but we go in at half time, really playing well. Can we keep it up in the second half? Sopi here with a throw in for us. We're about 10, coming up to 10 minutes off this uh, second half gone. He plays it back to Stimic. Stimic to Sopi, down to Abada. Can Abada get across? And he can. Mode, oh! If that was Alex Buena, I would have been more confident for sure, but it stays 2 0. A battle with a corner here. He whips it in towards the near post. Oh, Robert is fouled. It's a penalty. We do have VAR now uh, in La Liga, of course. So it'll be a VAR decision here. Let's see. Can we go 3 0 up from the penalty spot? Looking for the penalty. Penalty given. And we have a penalty kick now to go 3 0 up. Uh, I'm not sure who's taking it because I haven't really set penalty takers yet. It will be Diaz for a second of the game. He fires it home. We go 3 0 up. And this is a dream start to our time here in Spain. And uh, yeah. Really, really impressive performance. I know Alaves are down towards the bottom, so it's probably a dream start, really. Diaz makes it 3-0. Coco here with a free kick for Alaves. He plays it down the line to Peter with them. Soppy with a terrible tackle. We're about to go down to 10 men here. Oh, that's so annoying because we're in control of this game. Absolutely no need for it. So we need to bring on a left back. And uh, we bring on Owen Windal here. We're going to bring him on for... I think we bring him on for Abada. We bring him back to left back. And we put Gonzalo... Uh, into the middle here we play diamond we will go to cautious and we will go narrow and we just slow everything down really just try and tell the goalkeeper to slow things down hold our shape regroup and just try and see this game out now we're down to 10 men but we're also treating it up free kick here for Alaves to go long with it can we cut it out we can with Stamich down to Gonzalo who'll be playing that new role now in towards Fortesi ah Fortesi is half asleep there what was he doing passes right at him and he just looked at it. <laughs> Alaves here in possession bringing it forward we have 28 minutes to go if they got one back it could be real real nervy time for us down to 10 men just need to try hold our ship a little oh they've cut it out Stimic does well back to Jorgensen in goal he has options to Robert Robert to Andrich and we can bring this one forward calmly from the back that's a poor pass from Andrich and now Alaves can come on the attack we try and get men back and Windal doesn't pick it out. It's a tackle from Protesi. Doesn't give away the penalty, thankfully, but he doesn't win the ball. Peter with the cross towards that far post. And they do have one back. Oh, the nerves are going to be jingling now. Jorgensen couldn't keep it out. We concede our first goal here at Villarreal. And we were a little bit sloppy. Protesi won the tackle there, but he didn't win the ball back. He then didn't really fully push out to stop the cross. Peter with the cross to the far post. Their man wins in the air against two men. Heads it in. And it's now 3-1. Into injury time here, three minutes off the four gone. We're going to get our first win since that goal. Not a lot has happened. There is the full time whistle. We've won our first game against Vill uh, against Alabaz here at Villarreal. A 3 1 win, two for Diaz, one for Alex Buena. Hopefully, that injury isn't too bad. Soppy sent off, so he'll be suspended. But we have our first three points. So, there we have it up and running here at Villarreal. We have a win on the board. We move up into sixth position, all to 27 points, and only three points off the Champions League spots. Only uh, two points behind Barcelona who actually are going to be our opponents in the next episode, but not in the league. We're going to take them on in the Supercopa semi-final. We're going to take on Barcelona for the first time here in a neutral venue. So let's see what we can do against them. And then it's Real Bet Betis at home. Betis down in 14th position. And uh, we play a couple of league games. We play a Champions League game against Celtic as well, but we're not going to worry too much about the Champions League this season. If we look at the league phase, you'll see we're down in 32nd position with an outside shot of making the knockout stage. But... Yeah, Champions League isn't our main focus this season. It's going to be the league and getting to know this club and this squad. So next episode, it's Barcelona in the Supercopa semi-final and Real Betis in La Liga. If you did enjoy today's episode, please drop a like on the video. Uh, always good to see more likes and people are enjoying it. Don't forget to leave any feedback you have on the move in the comments down below. You can tell me how much of an idiot you think I am or how great you think the move is. Uh, either way, happy to get, get your feedback. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Always helps the channel to grow and helps you catch every video that's posted. Videos are posted Monday to Friday, 6pm Irish time. And subscribing will make sure you get the notification. There's also a playlist on the channel if you want to catch up on anything that's happened so far. And until the next episode, please take it easy.